Welcome, this is question number 20 from the 10 Ready Practice Test for Geometry. And we're going to talk about Chris and looking up at a tree. So Chris is looking up at the top of a tree. I have no idea why. Maybe he just likes the top of trees. Maybe there's a squirrel up there. I don't know Chris's life. He's standing 20 feet from the tree and his line of sight is 35 degrees from horizontal. His eyes are 5 feet above the ground. This actually matters a lot to your final answer. To the nearest foot, how tall is the tree? Now, eventually we're going to use trigonometric functions to figure out the distance of this bushy part of the tree. But before I do that, I want to go in and write something that seems meaningless. Question mark equals 5 plus x. And I'm going to put that in a box. The reason I'm going to do that is because I'm about to work some math with the trigonometric function. And if I use the number that I get, I will get this question incorrect. And I don't want to get this question incorrect. I want to score this one. It's not that difficult to get correct. So I'm going to make sure that I also have that plus 5 in there when I get my number. Now, let's look at this triangle that's been created by the tree. Here's the tree, the top part, the non trunk area. 35 degrees here. This creates a right angle. Just lie to yourself and pretend it's a right angle. I know it's not, but it should be. I just can't draw. And I know that this distance here is 20 feet. So I want to know what this is. So I'm going to call it x. There's the x right there. So when I find x, I substitute back in to find the question mark. That's the whole point. Now I need to figure out which trigonometric function I can get. Why would I choose trig as opposed to something else? Well, I have a right triangle, which means probably I'm going to either use trig or Pythagorean theorem or special right triangles. This is 35, so that's not a special right triangle number, so that's out. And I don't know anything about this side. In order for Pythagorean theorem to be effective, I need to know the value of at least two of the sides. So I don't know that, so I'm going to use trig. I'm one of those who draws a line from the angle to the opposite side, just so I know. I might make a note to myself that this is the opposite side. This side is not opposite the right angle, it's not opposite the angle, so it means it's the adjacent angle. Or the adjacent side, I'm sorry. A side adjacent to the angle. Which essentially in this scenario means other. It means it's, you know, next to, but in for us it means the other one, basically. So I'm looking for something that has opposite and adjacent. And if you do Sokotoa or you do it old school like I do and do the old aardvark sat on Henry's coat and hat or something totally different than that, whatever your sine, cosine, tangent thing would be, you know that tangent is opposite over adjacent. It's good to write that down. That way you don't mix up any of the numbers. The next thing I write down is not... It's most likely the place where people can go wrong, which is that they don't write down the equation before they start to try to mess with it. The opposite side is x over 20. Now, in this case, you'd be fine probably not to write it down. The problem comes in for most people if they just do the little type it into the calculator real fast thing, is if the 20 is on top, you can't just multiply 20, or is in the numerator, I should say. You can't multiply the 20 times tangent 35 and get the answer. If it was you have this, tangent 35 equals 20 over x. If you have that, you can't multiply by 20 and get to it. You multiply both sides by x, and you end up with tangent of 35 times x equals 20, and then x would be 20 divided by tangent 35. You don't have that here, but you could easily have it on any test. So... Do yourself a favor and just write the first one out at least, this piece. That's all you need to do. But for you here, it doesn't matter. It's times 20 on both sides to get rid of divide by 20. So I'm going to bring up this. Uh, of course, it's not doing what I want. There we go. It's the problem with an emulator. Sometimes it freezes. The first thing you want to do when you're working with an, a degree is to make sure that your calculator is in degree mode instead of radians. If you're in radians, make sure you're in radians. So now I'm in degree mode, see, right there. Now I can do tangent of 35 and close that off, and I'm going to multiply it by 20 to find my value of x to be 14. So x 
is equal to 14, and that would be in feet. Now the easy move here would be to write 14 right here, but we made this little mark up here at the top or encircled it and everything. So I know that the thing I'm trying to find is actually 5 plus 14, which is 19. So you thought this was kind of like a waste of time, but it wasn't a waste of time. It was getting you to the correct answer because the most annoying thing on any math test is to do all this work, write that answer there, and that's not the answer they're looking for. So make a note to yourself in the corner about what they're actually looking for, and you'll get more of those correct over time.